What's up, guys? Ice Man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Dak. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this video if you will, subscribe to the page, and swap that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. May you have many wives. So what we have here is a barbarian who desireth to wield two times godly AF crafted or <coughs> imbued rather ethereal berserker axes all right with godly mods and i found one right here now this is acceptable but it's far from desirable all right it has a very low enhanced damage roll on it it is ethereal it does have a nice max damage mod along with the attack rating mod based on character level it also has 30 percent increased attack speed so i will be popping a zod in this thing for experimental purposes Nonetheless, I am fixing to get a better one to put in the other hand at the least. So let's see what we get here. 208 damage. Piece of junk. Let's go to nightmare mode and try that one. So I'm also going to try this with claws. Apparently there's a certain assassin claw that the community for ages has liked to call a ghost claw. It's an ethereal assassin claw of elite status where it has all the nice mods on it. Uh, max damage based on character level, attack rating based on character level, two sockets, amp damage on striking, massive enhanced damage, things like that. Holy freaking toad. So this one is actually the highest damage one that I've rolled so far. Well, let's see how it compares to this one. So this one actually has more damage. Um, uh, 64 to 249 on this one, but this one has a ton of uh, attack rating, which counts for something, and a nice increased attack speed, versus uh, 93 to 282. So that's not a bad uh, roll rate there, and I think I'll actually get rid of that. So let's get rid of the Silks of Victor, and let's put that in the stash along with this, because I'm looking to make a Frenzy or Whirlwind Barbarian that uses these imbued items. So let's see what the hell imbue gets me now. Wow. I don't think it matters uh, what difficulty you're in uh, as to what uh, quality of imbue you get. So here's the hell imbue and uh, it seems like it's the worst one I've gotten so far actually. Uh, but what does matter to my understanding is your character level and of course the level of the item. And these ones are actually rolling higher than 64, uh, some of them. Uh, this one's 64, this one's 64. I, I rolled a few phase blades that were higher. So, let's keep going. Let's see what else I can get here. We're getting that godly berserker axe. The thing about these ethereal berserker axes is that they don't require a ton in terms of the stat requirements. They require 128 strength and uh, not much dex at all. Only uh, 49 dex, so not bad. So, let's keep going. And they're quite versatile as well. You could use them on a fury droid, for example. Uh, just have one hog of a berserker axe in your main hand while having storm shield on your off hand, for example. And they're also great for zealer fanaticism paladins, where you have a nice godly uh, shield on your off hand, maybe, uh, what's it called, exile, and then you have a, uh, a high end uh, berserker axe in your main hand. So this one does okay damage, 75 to 222, but uh, nowhere near acceptable, so. Let's get that godly as a freaking Toad Berserker Axe. I think it's coming. It's, it's just around the corner. And just for the fun of it, let's mix in an ethereal dimensional blade. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, phase blades don't roll ethereal, and you can't find an ethereal phase blade. However, crystal swords and uh, dimensional blades can. So if you find an ethereal one, like the one right here, you can imbue it and then up it into a phase blade and it will remain in its ethereal state, giving you an ethereal phase blade with higher damage. And of course, it'll be indestructible, uh, like how phase blades are. So let's see what this thing gets. Okay, that's a shitty roll. But uh, yeah, it, it is a way to get a, a pretty high-end item. So I'm going to keep rolling those in a future video and hopefully get a very nice ethereal phase blade. You could Google images on those things and find some hog ones that go for a ton of gold on JSP or a ton of real money as well. So 
Uh, I'm fixing to get one, but uh, right now, I'm fixing to get me another godly Berserker Axe. Or let's be honest, I'm fixing to get me my first godly rare Berserker Axe. They're also quite versatile with how you can use them as a barbarian. You can have one in each hand, for example, for Frenzy, or even one in each hand for Whirlwind, and you'll hit twice as frequently, to my understanding. I've experimented a lot with Whirlwind, and having the big two-handed weapons, although it looks cool, it seems that you just hit a lot more frequently if you have a weapon in each hand. So, twin Berserker Axes, one in each hand for Whirlwind, I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing. And they also have a pretty good range adder to them as well, so you can hit enemies that are further away. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see what the Helen View has to offer. But I think Berserker Axes are one of the coolest looking items in Diablo. It's, it's very basic, but uh, it just looks like a freaking hog. And, and it looks good on your character as well. Um, they've upgraded this, I think, in, uh, in D2R. See, as you can see there, it, it, it holds its image. Um, whereas if you go back to the old graphics, it looks like just a hand axe. Because it has that little uh, back end to it. And it's not as uh, menacing of a blade. But uh, yeah, it looks a lot better in D2R, how they uh, made the items on your character uh, look as they do in the inventory. So uh, yeah, I really like what they did there. But uh, let's keep going. Oh, that one did get 30 increased attack speed, so not bad. But uh, the rest of the stats suck. Another nice thing about the Berserker Axes is how they can roll six sockets. So it's a way to get six sockets in a one-handed item. Hot damn. Of course, there are other ways, like a Crystal Sword, for example, or a Dimensional Blade or Phase Blade. Uh, and Barbarians can wield some two-handed swords with one hand, or all of them for that matter. But this is a nice versatile way to get six sockets in a one-handed item. Uh, some people just use War Axes and they'll put a bunch of Iss in there for, I think, 160 Magic Fine. Uh, so that is one way to go as well. But uh, So this one rolled 20 IS and some damage. Uh, the 14 to max damage is a very nice stat as well, and it rolled Life Leech, so this one isn't that bad, actually. Uh, but I think I'd rather keep the other two that I have over it. 64 to 249, 73 to 229. Uh, this one has more attack speed, and it has a ton of AR. Uh, however, this one does have some Life Leech. 93 to 282. I just like the higher damage on this one. So I think I'm going to keep those two, and uh, let's do the Nightmare in Hell imbues now. But I do appreciate you guys for coming by, and I intend to make more imbue videos as well, and re-rolling videos and things like that. It's been a pretty good time, and uh, I'm really anticipating getting something godly here. But uh, uh, let me know in the comments what do you think I should uh, try to roll. I'm thinking about doing diadems, maybe re-rolling rare diadems with an SOJ so it doesn't downgrade it every time. Uh, of course, you can only uh, downgrade a diadem so much, is that correct? Or you can still always get two skills on them. Uh, so it doesn't matter that much, but yeah, I'm going to re-roll them with SOJs. And uh, maybe some druid pelts and things like that. So let's see what this hell imbue uh, has to offer. Maybe even like a rare Colossus sword or a rare um, Colossus blade as well. Something like that would be pretty cool. So there's a base damage adder right there. Uh, some men after each kill. Uh, some undead damage. So pretty cool, but uh, not what we're looking for. So let's keep going. In fact, a nice big thick Colossus blade... Uh, ethereal with like the godly mods on it would be interesting because I've never really seen one of those. So this one has decent damage, uh, but it also has two masteries and some life leech. But it's not what we're looking for, so let's, the next one's going to be it. We're, uh, the, the godly one's right around the corner. But for those who are interested, I'll probably make a video on like a compilation of godly ones that I can find on Google so we can uh, see what uh, people have found throughout the ages. Because these things have been around since like the beginning of uh, elite items. People have been uh, rolling these nice GG rares, and they're still very valuable uh, if you get the right mods on them. Uh, Some would even use them over Grief and Breath of the Dying is kind of the point, because you can get amp damage on Striking, you can get uh, a ton of AR on them, which you don't get with Grief or Breath of the Dying. And the AR, of course, will work on bosses and other players, so for PvP they can be very desirable. But uh, yeah, you need, you need all the good stats, so let's see what the Hell One has to offer. Here we go. We'll see if Charcy's able to hook us up. Hopefully he will. 30 IAS. 113% uh, enhanced damage. So, not bad. Uh, not bad, but uh, still not quite there. Welcome back to the spiritual journey. 30 increased attack speed. 14% enhanced damage. Piece of junk. Continue on. But... Also, I'm kind of curious, are you guys going to be playing Project Diablo 2? The new season starts April 12th, and uh, I intend to play it. 
But uh, what about Diablo 4? Are any of you playing PD2? Are you playing Diablo 4? What are your thoughts on those? Uh, I dab into both of them. Uh, not really D4 so much, but uh, I'm going to be playing some PD2, so I'm looking forward to that. But I'm curious what you guys are playing in the comments, so let me know your thoughts on those games. Uh, one more imbue left. Alright, this one's got to be it. 20, oh my god, holy shit. So interesting uh, how, yeah, nothing uh, nothing really that good. Let's toss these out. So yeah, these are my best two so far. We have Plague Razor, 64 to 249 damage, 30 increased attack speed, 80% enhanced damage, 10 to maximum damage, and the nice 49 max damage based on character level. Uh, this character is level 98. 1,617 to attack rating, that's ethereal. So, nice item here, and I will put a Zod in there, uh, assuming I don't find a better one uh, before that. I, I think I'm going to use the uh, SOJ recipe to put a, a socket in a rare item. I believe there's a recipe for that. And then Gale Scythe as well, 93 to 282 damage. 8% chance to look cast level 5 Chain Lightning on attack, so you get some style points there. 161% enhanced damage, 6 to maximum damage, 61 to attack rating, some fire damage. Uh, so it's decent, but yeah, this one is actually pretty cool right here. Um, and I, uh, I'll, I'll socket that thing, we'll see what we get, and probably, yeah, I'll just put a Zod in there. But let me know your thoughts on the GG Rares, and have you guys ever found a GG Rare in your time? Let's see here, what else do I have here? Uh, that, uh, interesting, uh, die, oh, in fact, I can re-roll this. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. I'll re-roll that, and do I have an SOJ? Uh, we'll see if I have, I might have an SOJ in here. Stone of Jordan, and then it also requires a perfect skull is the problem, and I don't think, yeah, it looks like I don't have a perfect skull, um, but uh, yeah, I could re-roll this thing, and I'll do that in a future video, and we'll see if we can get anything decent. So thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on these rare item re-rolling and uh, imbuing uh, adventures, because uh, I've seen some pretty godly stuff out there. And I think we're getting close, so I, 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 there's a chance I'm going to find a good one. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace be with you.